Hi there, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be unboxing a deck that I have been wanting for the longest time. It just arrived on my doorstep this morning and it is the Penny Dreadful Tarot. And I'm such a fan of the show Penny Dreadful and I remember when I first watched it and I saw those scenes where the main female protagonist in the show, Vanessa Ives, is using a set of tarot cards and sort of going, ooh, which tarot deck is that? I wonder if it's a real deck. And it turns out that it is a deck that was designed especially for the show by an artist named... Anias Sharaya, and I um, apologize if I mispronounce that, and she made the deck especially for the show, and um, it's also available for sale, so they're selling it, and I was just like, oh my goodness, I need one, and I posted it in a tarot forum about it, and it was about half-half people who were like, yeah, that deck's great, or, oh gee, I really want that too, and people who were like, really? <laughs> Penny Dreadful Tarot, like, come on. And, you know, I think the fact that we all like different decks is really just part of what makes life interesting, you know? Other tarot collectors have got decks in their collection that I'm not interested in and would never buy, and vice versa. And I just think that's part of the fun of tarot, really. So, um, yeah. And it took me ages to get a hold of this deck. I remember I was having trouble finding it and then I realised that they sold it on the Showtime store uh, but then they kept cancelling my orders and I, I figured I just gave up and I found somewhere on et, uh, eBay that was selling the convention set that comes with the box and the bag but it was going to cost me like $130 and then I looked on um, YouTube and I saw a video where they were displaying the box and the bag and they didn't look all that good to me and I'd already been told that the cardstock of the deck is not that good quality so I didn't really want to spend that much for something that wasn't going to be great quality so I didn't buy the um, convention set with the box and the bag um, off eBay. I ended up finding an Etsy seller here in Australia who sold it so I was able to get it for a really reasonable price you know considering the fact that she probably would have had to get it from overseas and she may have had to buy it in bulk um, and and it's a shop called um, Gypsy Charms Tarot. Um, she's based in Victoria. And I'll provide the link in the down bar to that shop. I'm not sure if she actually has any left in stock. But if you're an Aussie who wants to support an Etsy shop that sells tarot, then um, by all means check her out. So anyway, I will get on to the unboxing. Yay! So excited. Oh, I'm a bit jittery. I've had too much coffee today. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. Ah! Oh my goodness! Oh, so cool. And I, it's very monochromatic. It's all this um, gold and purple colour. But I really love that. I love purple. So I think it's gorgeous. And I'm going to love using these and pretending I'm in that world of, like Vanessa Ives. Oh, they don't come in any plastic. So they're already... Whoops. Oh, I can't get them out. Come on. Yeah, I really shouldn't have drank so much coffee. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, there we go. Here's a Showtime card. Oh, it doesn't come with the book. Never mind. So we've just got, that's the backing of the card there. So you've got the two skulls with the human skull and the, I don't know what that is, like a demon skull or something. And it says Penny Dreadful. Sorry if you can't see that real well. So um, you've got the Major Arcana here, or some of the Major Arcana. Uh, made it go out of order. But yeah, so there's the Emperor. Very masculine, powerful image. The Hierophant. I like that. That is cool. Oh, that's swords. Sorry. <laughs> um, the thing with the Minor Arcana in this deck too is I think it's like part um, non-pictorial and sort of a little bit pictorial. And the, the images in this deck, I love how they're kind of stark and um, simplistic. So it's a real simple deck. Got the lovers, the chariot, justice, the hermit. Sorry, these are just all over my, my lap. They're going everywhere. <laughs> 
Oh, that's cool. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. I like that. It's got a real creepy feel. Strength. That woman's hand there. That is cool. The Hanged Man. Ooh, I love this deck so much. I can't wait to use it. Ooh, Temperance. That's a really cool depiction of Temperance with the Salamander. I love the Temperance card because um, I'm a Sagittarius, so it's not often I'll see a Temperance card I don't like. The Devil. Ooh. That is cool. The Star. The Moon. I like that. The Sun. Alright. Oops, oops, some of it's gone upside down. Oh, hang on, we do have an instructions card. So there you go. So that's got, um, yeah, a spread there and some um, just simple keywords for each of the card meanings. So that's handy. So yeah, there's some of your, your um, court cards. So you've got Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Oh, I like that Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. So yeah, they are sort of non-pictorial pips, but there is a little bit of a picture in there to let you know what's going on. But, oh yeah, there's not a whole lot of difference between the different pip cards, so yeah. It wouldn't be a beginner's deck, I would say. You might have to have a bit of a knowledge of tarot and numerology and that sort of thing before you try to read with this deck. There's some of your wands. What else have we got? Oh, cups. Ooh, Ace of Cups. I like that. That's beautiful. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Ah, yep. So sort of a little bit of a picture, but not too much else going on other than the different numbers of the... Oops. Of what's to let you know what's going on there. What else have we got? Page of Cups. Very young person. Ooh, that's a a serpent coming out of the cup. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. King of Cups. What have we got now? Ooh, Pentacles. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna say I like the aces in this deck. The aces are cool. That is so cool. With a little Bee or Wasp. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's a, a different theme that runs through each of the pips. And I kind of like that. I think that's cool. There's your court cards again. Oh, I like that with the Queen of Pentacles. How there's a deer or something there, or an elk. I don't know which animal that is. Sorry, I'm not real good with my horned animals. I like that. That's cool. Oh, this one's cool too. King of Pentacles. Love that. Yep, definitely like the aces in this deck. And then you've got, yeah. So there's that theme, that similar theme in all of the, the pips again. So yeah, my first impression of this deck. It's very cool. I love it. Um, it's a little bit hard to get out of the box. Um, and it doesn't come with a book. And I think the convention set did come with a book. So maybe I should have bought it just for that. But um, 
yeah, quite happy with this one. Um, I really love the deck. I'm happy to have it and I'm looking forward to doing readings with it and kind of going into that world, kind of <laughs> feeling like Vanessa Ives. So <laughs> thanks very much for watching this unboxing. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did and I'll see you next time. Bye!